started with a game. You gonna bust the record! But it wasn't just any game. You have been recruited by the Star League to defend the frontier against Sur and the Kodan Armada. So Cloak and Dagger and The Last Starfighter. Both movies were released as a double feature in 1984, and both of them had video game elements, which was something really cool. The Last Starfighter was actually directed by Nick Castle. That's right. Michael Myers from Halloween directed The Last Starfighter. I remember The Last Starfighter better as a kid than I remember Star Wars, because I didn't see Star Wars for years, but my parents had Showtime on their cable for some reason, and they used to show The Last Starfighter all the time. The phenomenon kind of started with movies like Tron, where the focus of the movie took place inside of a video game. I mean, this is a fun movie to this day. I mean, it, it is every freaking gaming nerd's fantasy. You're a 30 year old teenager on some sort of like ranch somewhere, and there's a video game everyone's gathered around called The Last Starfighter. And he's so good at it, it's like a space shooter game. And it turns out that this arcade game was like a testing ground to find this savior who could go and save this planet that's in the middle of this real war in space. These aliens come down and recruit him to be a starfighter. CGI was actually pretty good. Uh, well, no, it was really good for the day. And even looking back, it's like, okay, it's a little fakey, but for the time, it was really good. And it's, you know, it's just a fun movie. Watch it, watch it. If you haven't seen it, go watch it now. It was Star Wars-like in the fact that you had sort of this, you know, unassuming young man who lived in rural circumstances. He lived in a trailer park. It's really a great movie. The orchestration, uh, the, you know, the, the main theme, which you're going to hear about 20 times during the, the movie, it's fine. You don't really get sick of it because it's freaking awesome. Now, at the end of the credits of The Last Starfighter, they actually promised a real Last Starfighter video game would be coming soon. But unfortunately, it was never released. They, they, they weren't even original Last Starfighter video games. No. They, they just took other games and called them The Last Starfighter. It was a game called Uridium, computer game. They just slapped a new title screen on, slapped a Last Starfighter ship sprite on it, put in the shitty Last Starfighter song, and that was your game. And I remember my dad said to me as a kid, he's like, you could be a Starfighter too. I literally thought for years that you could be a Starfighter. <laughs>